Well, question number one on the investor's mind is that with liquidity levels pretty high at Guaranteed Trust Bank, reports reveal sitting between 40 and 50 percent. Why the decision to raise capital via this avenue and why now where there are seemingly no avenues to really be deploying this capital just yet? Well, thank you very much. Um, first thing is, for those who understand Nigeria well, you would appreciate that first, the 40 to 50 percent liquidity you're talking about is probably deposits in the region of 30 to 60 days, maybe maximum 90 days. So the first reason you've got out and done a five-year bond is to put some duration, basically, to the deposit base you have. As the term loans on our books are increasing, going to about probably 40 to 50 percent of risk assets, the gap on the balance sheet is probably getting a little uncomfortable. So the first thing you've done is to try to put some duration um, to the liabilities you have. We did this transaction in December and listed it in February, March um, on the stock exchange. But basically, it's to give duration to our deposits. And we had done a similar thing in 2007 when we did the euro bond. We did a five-year euro bond. So mm -hmm. even though there's plenty of liquidity, a lot of the assets that people are funding, uh, they're funding three to five-year assets using 90-day deposits. You need to put some duration in it and start to be able to have some five-year deposits funding five-year assets. So let's look at the amount that you're actually raising here because the first tranche of the bond uh, trade is saying was supposed to be 50 billion billion naira but after the book building it's only come in at 13 billion why we cut off it was a book building exercise and we cut off a 13.5 because we predicted correctly the direction of interest rates if we had cut this bond off at about 14.5 15% in the month of december we would have raised 50 billion but we knew that interest rates were coming down into 2010 and we weren't sure when the upswing will start so we cut the deal off at a price where we thought we could use the money effectively and not put any pressure on the balance sheet. So mm -hmm. the 13 billion that we took was based upon the pricing we were ready to live with. Well, in total, though, you're looking to raise 200 billion Naira. So when should the market be expecting then the next tranche? This is a great time, actually, without giving anything away. Interest rates are at, a, at an all time low. Um, people have a lot of liquidity. They're looking for investment outlets. So if we're able to, I would say that people should watch out. I'm sure in the next couple of weeks, we will do the second tranche on this thing, put some more duration to our balance sheet and bring down the cost of the first bond even more and put ourselves under less pressure. So we'll be able to take advantage of assets that are long term in duration. We'll be able to give people five year fixed interest rate loans, which are things that are not common in this market mm -hmm. by having gone out and put the bond program in place. But even then, I'm not sure we'll go out and try to raise the entire 200 billion. Again, we will go out on the next tranche. We will book build and we will cut off the book at an interest rate that we think makes sense for us and makes sense for our prognosis of where we think interest rates are going over the next two to three years. And uh, aside from just, you know, lending more duration to your deposit base, I mean, let's look at exactly where you're going to be spending some of the money that you're, you're planning to raise here. I mean, where will you be diverting some of these funds? There's a lot of capital expenditure. Essentially, Guaranteed Trust is a high-end bank. About 60% of our loan book is based in construction, manufacturing, telecoms, and oil and gas. And in the telecoms industry, you would need to do some capex, which you need about five-year money for. In real estate, you would still need to do some. And obviously, there's still a lot of infrastructural development to be done in Nigeria. We haven't done anything yet. There's mm -hmm. still rail, there are roads, there are ports, there are airports. And so those are the sorts of areas we're looking to deploy it into, not to talk about power, which hasn't taken place at all. Yeah. So there's still a lot of infrastructure for that needs money that has long-term funding. In terms of the business itself, I mean, with all that's going on in the banking sector in Nigeria at the moment, I mean, to what extent is the bank positioning itself for a concern consolidation that is forecast to happen in the banking arena? I think Guarantee Trust Bank is one of those that's fortunate enough to decide whether they would like to do a merger or an acquisition or stay on its own. Since inception, we didn't do a deal in the consolidation exercise of 2004. 
We have remained true to our strategy. So far, it's been organic. It's worked well for us. We continue to scope the environment. If we see things that we think give us a competitive advantage that will add to us, we will look to do a deal. But we will never do a deal just because it's a fashionable thing to do. Also, when people talk a lot about mergers and acquisitions or consolidations, I would be willing to bet about eight out of ten transactions that have done that have been done in the long term actually don't work out. So mm -hmm. we will be opportunistic. We will look around. If we see things that add to us and will give us a competitive advantage, we will do it. If not, we will stay with our current strategy, which has been to grow organically. And it has held us in good stead over the last 19 to 20 years. But irrespective of what is happening around us, I am sure we will remain a strong player and an extremely competitive player in this market. This in a context where there are big changes happening within uh, the banking space. Uh, what is your overall view of some of the changes the Central Bank of Nigeria has initiated in uh, when it comes to the banking arena? I think the changes have been extremely positive. You have seen an industry that probably grew a little too quickly and so now there is some sanity and stuff being built around it. You you have banks that are emerging with stronger corporate governance rules, um, probably merging into 2010 with cleaner loan books, stronger management and so you're seeing a banking sector that is probably getting itself more prepared for the next three to five years. And Nigerian banks are probably moving out to just being local banks. And you're beginning to see Nigerian banks operate as regional banks. And maybe they'll go beyond that. So everything the CBN is doing is to prepare their banks to be able to be world-class banks, best in class, mm -hmm. best practice. And I think it's working. And if you take a certain number of Nigerian banks, I'd be willing to pitch them and stand them up with any bank anywhere in the world. And you would find that they're very similar in how they do business, probably just smaller in size.